Hello YouTube, Chrono16, today's date, December 30th, 2012. Wanted to make this video real quick to prove a point, and it's pretty much common sense, guys. Um, but let me try to put this in context for you. Um, in the last video, I've stated how this has been a long-term plan to try to take the American people's guns. And to prove that, I have a video that's coming up after I get done talking here showing uh, Eric Holder, which is the current Attorney General, back in 1995 talking about gun control and how they have to brainwash the American people to think differently about guns. Now remember what I just said. This video I'm about to show you is a video clip that was taken from 1995. Now what does that tell you? That tells you that this is a huge plot and the plan that they've had going on for years and years and years. Now what's going on in the news media today? Exactly what I just said Holder said back in 1995. And before I go on here, we actually have that video of Holder up on our channel in a different video talking about gun control from earlier this year. Um, but this just proves now what's happened since that false flag event up in Connecticut. All they've been talking about in mainstream media is gun control, gun control, gun control, gun control, gun control. How we have to take the guns from law-abiding citizens to save their children and blah, 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 gun control, gun control. That's all you've been hearing about. And again, in the video that's following me talking here, Holder is repeatedly it's quoted saying or showed in the video saying from 1995 how they have to short in the media every day, not just short on Monday, but short every day and drive this into people's heads. OK, they are carrying out the plan that Holder mentioned back in 1995 right now. That's why every time you turn on the mainstream dinosaur media, all they're talking about is gun control and how the American people don't need guns. They're carrying out that plan. If this isn't proof to you people out there, if this isn't proof that this is a plot and it's been plotted for years and that they're behind schedule, I don't know what else to tell you. And then you get the president on the video I'm going to show you after that. The president gets on there and, and, and the reporter asks him, well, uh, the NRA thinks we should have armed guards in schools, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the president goes, well, I'm skeptical uh, about that. And so is the American people. They're skeptical about having armed guards in schools. Uh, so I don't think, you know, he didn't say this, but he's just saying he's skeptical. And so are the American people. Well, first of all, uh, puppet Obama, how do you figure the American people are skeptical about it? I mean, this is coming from a man. You know, who you guys call Barack Obama or President Obama. He's not our president. His name isn't even Obama. He's a complete fraud and made up person under the full control of uh, the globalist. He's a hypocrite. The school that his kids go to has 11 armed guards. 11 armed guards. So how are you going to get on there and say you're skeptical about that? and that the American people are skeptical about. Okay, so there's another video after this video of Obama basically lying and being the hypocrite that he is, showing some protesters uh, at a gun show. Now, as all of you know who've been paying attention, the gun shows have been selling out of guns in, by record numbers because the American people know that without guns, they can't protect themselves from a corrupt government. So everybody's, I mean, everybody's been going out buying guns. Guess how many protesters showed up at this protest up in Denver? So, you know, because you know, remember now, Obama or, or Barry Satoro, the puppet, the cancer that's eating away at America right now, said that him and the American people are skeptical. Well, that can't be true because only one protester showed up at this event in Denver. Long story short, guys, never give up your guns and uh, stop watching the mainstream media. OK, these guys are nothing but puppets, along with Obama, who's a completely made up person who's not even real. Nothing. I mean, he's a real human, but everything about Obama is fake and made up. It's already been proven. OK, they've tried repeatedly in 2012 to sway your ideals about guns with all these false flag shootings, starting with the Batman shootings the temple shootings and those two shootings didn't work 
so they had to think of something more sinister so they had to take out some kids to wake up those American people out there to go along with their program if you notice these, these shootings got a little bit more sinister as they went on and none of them worked except for this last one now they're trying to get you to believe that most Americans back gun control which is a complete and utter lie just like Barry Satoro or should I say aka Barack Obama is Anyway, on to those videos, guys. Uh, I've also asked the school board to make a part of every day some kind of anti-violence, anti-gun message. Every day, every school, at every level. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. We also want to uh, have a hotline that we will set up and have the number of that hotline that would just go out there and that would be something that people would have emblazoned in their minds so that when they see a gun or become familiar about the facts of a gun crime, they would call that hotline and pass that information on. So we have an armed guard but at every school in the country? That's what the NRA believes. They told me last week that that could work. You know, I, I'm not going to prejudge the recommendations that are given to me. Uh, I am skeptical that the only answer is putting more guns in schools. Uh, and I think the vast majority of the American people are skeptical that that somehow is going to solve our problem. And, and look, he, 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 here's, here's the bottom line. We're not going to get this done unless the American people decide it's important. And so this is not going to be simply a matter of me spending political capital. One of the things that you learn, uh, having now been in this office for four years, is you know, uh, the old adage of Abraham Lincoln's that... Uh, with public opinion, there's nothing you can't do. And without public opinion, there's very little you can get done in this town. So uh, I'm going to be putting forward a package, and I'm going to be putting my full weight behind it. And I'm going to be making an argument to the American people about why this is important and why we have to do everything we can to make sure that something like what happened at Sandy Hook Elementary does not happen again. But ultimately, the way this is going to happen is because the American people say, that's right. We, we are willing to make uh, different choices for the country, and we hey, support... The Tanner Gun Show just wrapped up. They're seeing huge crowds as people look to purchase their own firearms. Our Everett Kasmi was there as the debate over gun control continues. Ever since the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School, there have been increased talks about gun control in the United States. This weekend, thousands of people flocked to the Tanner Gun Show at the Denver Merchandise Mart where emotions were running high. People were filing in and out of the Tanner Gun Show, proudly putting their First Amendment right to use. Bought some 45 ACP rounds. Some bought guns for hunting, others for protection. They were met with opposition as one lone protester picketed out front in support of a ban on so-called assault weapons. Something snapped in me and I have to say something. They have food. They make me fat. The topic of gun control brought out a range of emotions for people driving by, some even yelling profanity at the thought of controlling their rights as an American. How do you feel about that? I disagree. It's a tool. Um, people kill people and you can't argue with a sick mind. It's not the weapon, it's the people. And we need to do more to help the people. This group of gun owners didn't buy any firearms today, nor do they own a firearm that could be considered as an assault weapon. Still, they're against stricter gun control regulations. I've got guys that go coyote hunting with them because of the accuracy and the lightness of them. So I don't need one, so I'm not going to own one. But I don't want you to start to take away my rights. Despite their opposing views on gun control, the people we spoke with do agree on one thing. Something needs to be done in hopes of preventing another tragic school shooting. And despite protesting alone, Karen tells me that she plans to be out here the entire weekend and will gladly discuss her views with anyone who disagrees with her. Everett Kasimi, CBS 4 News.